Hello and welcome to this episode of My Kind of People. As you might have been able to tell, it's the first episode of the new series that makes episode 6 of series 2. Right, my name is Michael. I'm back because Theodore said that I can come back if I apologize. So here we go. Listeners and viewers, I'm sorry for insulting the show which keeps may, 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 maybe it keeps your lives going. I don't know. Um... I'll be probably back for a while now because of this little thing that I just did. And, well, I'm glad to be back. So, I guess without further ado, it comes our host, Theodore Brown, first from America. <coughs> Hello. Um, as you might have just been able to tell, because I just coughed, I'm a bit ill. I got a bit of a cough over in America. So, I might have to cough a few times in the interview. Sorry if it happens. Well, yeah, I'm back from America. America was amazing. It was just truly one of the best experiences of my life. You have to go. I'm not going to sit here and talk for ages about it because we have a limited time schedule on YouTube. And I'm actually going to talk about that tiny bit now. I have to model my time a bit more. As you might have been able to tell, the last show was a bit rushed because we didn't have much time on it. So I'll put more time into this one. So today's guest is, it, this interview is non-scripted by the way, I haven't had time to do it. I feel really mean because I keep doing these things to you guys, but there you go, I mean, I've just come back from America. Uh, so the, today's guest is Jaive. Um I'm not going to even try to pronounce his name because it's something really hard to say. It's French, so there you go. And, um, well, I guess let's have him in. Shaif, hello. Hello, Theodore. Do you want me to help you with my name? Oh, no, I'm re- I really can't, because if I do, I can tell I'm just going to really mess it up and then probably insult thousands of people. Well, if you're sure. Okay, so on with the interview. First of all, how was, how was America? America, it was amazing. Just, you have to go there. I've been there many times. Hollywood is in America, no? Oh, yeah, it is. Well, then, of course I've been there. So, let's go, let's go. Right, well, so, where were you born? Tell us a bit about that. I was born in a little town in France called Nantes. It's sort of on the west of France. It's a very beautiful place, you know, Petit Port, which is Little Port in English. And there's many swimming pools. And I went to the local school and I took acting classes there. It's truly a very important place in my life. I, I go there often to see my nan. Ah, cool. And where do you live now? Ah, Paris. That is the real place for me. I mean, there are many places in France, in the world, that satisfy my taste. But Paris does it for me. The people, the taste, the food, even. You know... I think France has the best. It's not all snails and garlic. It's you, you, you enjoy French cuisine. Yeah, I mean, I had snails. They're the best. They're really good, honestly. And frog's legs taste like chicken. Yes, everyone says that. It's, it's quite funny. But um, yes, let's keep on with the interview. Mm. So um, tell us a bit about what acting's like. Acting. Well, you know, acting is not really acting. It's a bit of a Strange thing to say, I know, but when you are acting, if you are a real actor, when you act, you be, you are. In France, I have uh, acting classes, and they are called, uh, they are être, which is a French verb to be, which confuses people because they come up and they say, oh God, these classes, they are going to teach me how to live, how to survive, this is good because I'm dying. Well, no, 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 the classes don't do that. They, they teach you how to act. So I might think of changing the name. It's, it's difficult to say. Uh, but acting is... There are little professions better than acting, I reckon. I mean, being on the stage and is, is really what I love. There are many things that I love, and acting is one of them. Cool. So, well, what other things do you love? What are the things I love? The color red, the smell of fresh grass, the smell of bread, the smell of paprika, good food, good people, good company. Good music, good places, many, many things. Wow. So there is a little sort of thing around England that sort of when French people laugh, 
This is how it off. <laughs> it's not like that, is it? No, <laughs> of course it isn't. See, you though, I can take a joke. I know what you think of us. Of course, we also have jokes about the English. Not really going to go into them now, am I? No, be a good idea. So now let's talk about some of your works. Drive. Um, I uh, might be better if you pronounce the names. I'm not very good with titles of French. Well, actually, actually, Theodore, you were saying my first name very well. In France, we say Jean-Yves. And you in England, you are saying Jean-Yves. It's, it's very good. I've heard people say Jean Ives. It's quite annoying. But yeah, my work. So, I have done lots of work. Um, let's go over some of the names. I've done comedies. I did a comedy called Ha Ha Ha, which is spelled H A H A H A. It's it's it. People say it's a bit too like my wife and kids, which which is a bit annoying because I don't really like my wife and kids. But you know, you just got to put up with those things, no? Yeah, yeah. My show has actually been likened to uh, Jamie Eastwell's Ace Realm, which is uh, kind of okay because I know Jamie Eastwell, and he's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. Yes, he is. I've met him myself. Have you? Yes, of course I have. Many times. You know, he's, he's a big black man. Comes from Jamaica, no? No, he's of a small white guy. Comes from Bristol. Ah, different people, different people. It's okay, it's okay, let's keep on. Right, um, I've done all movies. I did, uh, what have I done? You know, that film, ah, uh, what's it called? Spooktasticata. Spooktastic answer. Yes, yes, you know. It's a very good movie. No, don't really know much about it. So tell us a bit about how, like, what goes on on set. Well, people joke around a lot. You see, you've seen blooper reels? Yeah, yeah, I really like those. They're really funny. Yes, we like making some of those. Some of those are actually fake. If you watch, if you watch that film, uh, Hot Fuzz, Hot, yeah, Hot Fuzz, that's it. Uh, you could tell some of the blooper reels are fake. It's a bit of a joke, really. Mm. I noticed that. It was a bit strange, really. Yes, sometimes you just have to do that for comedy, you know? Um, well, I'm given the script maybe a week or so before the episode is screened. Because, you know, in TV, everything moves very fast. So, I'm given the script and I have to learn it very quick. I don't have much time at all. It's a bit of a shame, really, because I like to spend time knowing my characters. And with voices, I have to think of one and then just go. It's a bit like, uh, do you listen to M Mugglecast? Mugglecast, oh yeah, I listen to it a lot. Well, you know, they had a, an interview with Jim Dale. Yeah, yeah. And he was talking about that, wasn't he? How he has to think of voices and then go. Yes, he was, actually, yes. It, it's a bit like that, actually. Well, there isn't really much to say. I'm an actor. What can you say? All right. Well, I think that sort of concludes this episode. I mean, not really the episode, but the interview. Shine, it's been great to meet you. Great, great to talk to you. I might even have you on another show, because you're such a good guest. I mean, other guests have been rude, racist, run out. There's homicidal maniacs. You've been my first real docile guest, so I'd be glad to have you back. I see that it'd be an honour to come back. Great. Well, I'll see what I can do. So, goodbye. Goodbye. And may we meet again. Au revoir. Right. Well, I guess now it's time for Theodore's Band of the Week. <laughs> Theodore's Band of the Week. So, um, this Band of the Week, it's not really a band, it's an artist. I recently got his album because it was duty free and it was like four pounds. It's Dizzy Rascal. And it's, I have to say, it's not bad. He's a rapper. He comes from sort of East London. And he raps about, you know, it's different because he, he tells stories and stuff like that. So let me give you an example. I think it's Hardback. He actually tells a real story. So you should probably check him out. Um, that's all concludes this episode. I'll see you another time. Goodbye. So here comes the credits. Sidor is a great guy to work with. The guy who actually does the credits is not in today. I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong with him. We will get hold of him and talk to you about this. So it's, it's been an honor to be here. I, I cannot say how much I've enjoyed it. I, oh, I have to say goodbye now. Au revoir. Adieu. Have a good time.